Today I'm going to show you how to control the 3D camera in After Effects in a really simple way. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I've got a really simple scene set up. I've got an effects adjustment layer. I've got a texture layer here. I've got three instances of an AI Adobe Illustrator file here. And these are just layered in 3D space. I've just got a little bit of separation between them. And I have a background layer here. So we have a very simple 3D setup here. Now I'm gonna to go to layer new camera and I'm gonna create a new camera, one node, 35 millimeter preset, click okay. And if you don't know, it's really easy to control the camera in After Effects. You can go up here to the tool menu and you can select an orbit, a pan tool, or a dolly tool. And these allow you to move around the scene. You can also hit the C key and you can see my little cursor here is changing. So I'm on the pan tool right now and I can move around like this and undo that. I can hit C again, I can zoom in and out like so. And I can hit C again, and I can rotate. Right, I can kind of rotate my scene around and you can see the depth here with the three layers. I find that a lot of people find this challenging. They struggle with really getting the camera to where they want it to be, the exact angle they want it to be. So an easy way to get around that if you're not super comfortable with the camera is to add knolls to control the camera. So let's do that now. So we're gonna go up here to layer, new, and we're gonna click knoll. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this 3D. So it's a 3D layer. And I'm just going to select command D on my keyboard, to duplicate it once and duplicate it again. And then just to keep this tidy, I'm gonna rename these. We're gonna call this rotate A, and we're gonna call this one rotate B, and then this top one will be called position. And then we're gonna take the camera, and we're gonna go over here to parent and link, and we're gonna pick whip to rotate A, and then for rotate A, we're gonna pick whip to rotate B, and for rotate B, we're gonna pick whip to position, just like that. And that's it, it's super simple. And now our scene is gonna be really easy to control with our camera, like where we want it to look at. So for rotate A, I'm gonna hit R for rotation. And the trick here is to keep one property value per null. So for instance, if I want to rotate on the X axis like this, I can just dial this up to 50 degrees and there we go. Now, if I decide I want to make changes on the Z rotation, you're gonna see my angles start getting kind of skewed, kind of wonky here. That's why we're only using one rotation property per null. So if I hit R for rotation here, and I play around with the Z rotation value, it's a lot cleaner, right? It's a lot easier to control where I want my camera to look exactly. And then for position, I'm gonna hit P, and I can move this around like so. And if I wanna kind of move in over here, or I can move in over here. I'm gonna do that. I can also come up here and I can easily move my scene around. I got, went way far up there. But you can see I can you know, focus in exactly where I want it to be. It's really easy to control it. So that is it, it's super simple. This setup makes it very easy to control your 3D camera in After Effects. It's, I know this is a quick tutorial today, but this is super powerful, super important if you struggle with a 3D camera. I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson. I will see you in the next one.